I think we all know that it is a bad idea to give me what I want when I rant about things. We've talked about this. It just encourages me to rant about things and beg for things and teaches me that that gets results. And we have another example of that. And I don't know how long this product was in development. to be, So I don't know for sure. I mean, like, I'm not the only one who thought that this was necessary. But yeah. well, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm pretty sure uh, this is coming anyway, but it's convenient timing. This is a Crossfire to PWM converter from Maytech. Maytech yeah. makes some good hardware. Specifically CRSF to PWM. So anything that uses that protocol, um, like all of ExpressLRS. Um, or, or, or Crossfire. Honestly, or Crossfire if you wanted to use it, because um, the nicer version of this has 10 PWM outputs um, out of your CRS CRSF and also does GPS integration and uh, I think has a Beck on it too. So Yeah. Yeah, this is a big deal for ExpressLRS because ExpressLRS doesn't have PWM outputs. It just doesn't. Um, so if you want to run ExpressLRS with a plane, you, can, you can't drive servos directly, can you? You just can't. You could run it through a flight controller, but you can't drive the servos directly. Right, yeah. Um, whereas this will let you do that. In addition, with Crossfire, the Crossfire receivers can output PWM but you only get, I believe it's four outputs on a, on a Crossfire Nano, but they yeah, have big four receivers. Or six. I think that maybe, yeah, it's four or six, um, but yeah, this will do 10 on the big ones. So pretty yeah. Cool. So that's pretty exciting. Thank you very much to Maytech. You have another Maytech product in here that isn't directly related, but you, we wanted to throw it out because we just love promoting Express LRS stuff. And this is a new 2.4 gig receiver from Express LRS. Blunty, is this just another, it's diversity. That's cool. Is that the first ExpressLRS diversity receiver? I think it might be the second one. I think there's one other one. I can't remember exactly who makes it, but um, the big thing for me here, I think the big difference from a lot of people, uh, there may be another one like this too, I'm not sure, but um, is that it has 22.5 dBm of telemetry power. So it has a PNA on it uh, just for the telemetry. So that's pretty neat for anybody who needs a, a telemetry distance. Yeah, it'll get your, it'll keep your telemetry range closer to, or maybe as far as your link range, whereas normally telemetry is much, much weaker and fails first. So, uh, very, very slick. Thank you, Maytech, for the work that you've done there. Yeah, also okay. really need, need to see people like Maytech uh, hopping into ExpressLRS, mm. more solutions. It's going, it's going. Has it reached critical mass? Is it snowballing now? I think we're getting there. I mean, yeah. it's definitely getting getting there. We got what we got bind and flies. Companies? We got yeah, we got five or six companies. Uh, uh, Happy Model, Naminmo, Beta FPV, HDLRC, and Maytech making receivers. Obviously, there's also the DIY options from comp from you know, of course, but that's out of a lot of people's reach. Um, we got two companies I know for sure: Happy Model and Beta FPV making bind and flies. Is there anybody like an iFlight that's making a bind and fly with ExpressLRS built in? Like mm. not a whoop with it actually literally built into the flight controller. I'm not sure. Like as an option for external, like an extra yeah. receiver. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Still a chance to be the first at that. Um, yeah. yeah. Super exciting. Let's do it. It's great. It's great. It's a really exciting project. Um, yeah. Okay. Next up. We got this bug in OpenTX. What's the Real deal? Quick, I, I just want to point. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I just want to point out. Um, somebody, Mr. Huggy, in the chat pointed out that TBS has a PWM Nano RX like converter that converts CRSF to Nano like PWM, but that actually doesn't have any electronics inside, so it won't right. do the actual conversion. It's TBS right. still outputs PWM to it. So correct. Just so, it's just, just it's so. just giving you pins to plug into. Yes. The receiver is generating the PWM signals, which ExpressLRS doesn't do. At least yes. not the main branch of ExpressLRS. It's open source, so probably somebody's probably made a branch that does it. But I think um, uh, I think Captain Bry actually did that uh, CR Servo F like a like a tool to do that. Yeah, and um, again, the if you're using the Crossfire Nano, it only has a limited number of channels. So yeah, yeah. 